What is going on guys, Adam here at What The Foot EA, so today we're going to be reviewing David Trezeguet's Centurion's Icon card. It's coming in with medium low work rates, which is a bit weird, and 4 star, 4 star, uh, and controlled length as his sprint speed. He can only play striker and centre forward. He has decent pace, fantastic shooting, his passing is okay at best, his dribbling is pretty good except for a couple of stats, and his physicals are alright. Defending, obviously, it doesn't matter too much. So, for playstyles, we've got the power header, we've got the first touch, we've got acrobatic playstyle plus, and we've got aerial. So, let's see if we can go and have some fun with those. So, this card really shocked me. I wasn't expecting big things. If you've been playing FIFA for many years, you'll know Trezeguet's card is absolutely trash. It's always been a waste of time. If you pack Trezeguet, you were never happy. Well... I'm delighted to tell you guys, this year's different. And he's coming in at around 80k, which is very, very strange. Because he's absolutely outstanding. His finishing is incredible. He's one of the best finishers I've used on this game. And I've used the likes of Pele and Ronaldinho. And I'd say he's right up there with the best of the best. And I honestly can't believe how good the card is. As a kid, I absolutely idolised Trezeguet. Uh, it was a time, at a time where France were dominating the world, winning the World Cup 98, winning the Euros in 2000, uh, and who can forget his uh, golden goal against Italy in the final of the Euro 2000. Absolutely stunning. Left footed, half volley, ball miles behind him, and he absolutely rifled it into the top corner. Unforgettable for me, absolutely loved it. So this card is passing, obviously he had 80 for short passing, but all the other passing stats were terrible. It doesn't show in the game at all. He got quite a few assists. Uh, he was fantastic on the ball. His hold-up play was absolutely incredible, one of the best that I've used for that. Uh, and his, I like I say, his finishing is right up there with the best of the best on the game. Absolutely phenomenal. So after a few games I hadn't really got to see anything to do with the Aerial Prowess trait or the Acrobatic Playstyle Plus. But thankfully after a few games that did change. You see here a nice finish from beautiful positioning and on the volley. So that's a goal that I wouldn't expect most players to score. I'm not perfectly sure whether that would come into the Acrobatic one. But the Acrobatic one's mostly about volleys so I would imagine that it does. So his positioning again was absolutely outstanding there. It gave me the option as Rodrigo to play it back across with the head. Usually what you would do in that position is either take it away as Rodrigo and build again or you would try a pointless header just out of instinct of trying to score a goal when it's absolutely impossible. So Trezeguet gave me that option and you've just seen three in a row of volleys or half volleys. Absolutely outstanding. Boom, there's the power header. We've got a few of those from corners. Really good in the air. And once he does go for the ball and his animation starts, nobody stops him. So you can see there for a big lad, he's moving very well on the ball. The left stick dribbling works really well for him, as does the R1 dribbling. So here's the best goal that I scored with him. I scored a really nice overhead kick uh, in foot champs with him. Uh, a few angles of it here and you'll see it again in real time later on in the footage. Absolutely phenomenal. Manuel Petit going up against him. Absolutely no chance of getting there. So you just saw an absolutely outstanding turn. That's where his good dribbling comes into play. And that created the opportunity for Erdegaard to go and score that goal. So here's the overhead in real time. Boom. He don't get sweeter than that, guys. He's outstanding. I would highly recommend him. Here comes the summer. Thanks for watching. Take care.